It's super hot in SA everyone. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to show you inside, finally, the new Bush Tracker Caravan, which is out in its shed at the moment and gathering dust, as you can see. Geez, we've had some fierce dust storms through the roof. Um, anyhow, come, in, come inside. Open wide, come inside and we'll show you around. We'll try and do a bit of a proper mm -hmm. walk through of the Bush Tracker Caravan. And oh, hello. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> do you live around these parts? <laughs> <laughs> hey? Yep. <laughs> what are you up to in here, love? I uh, see you've got just, the air conditioning pumping. Yes, just got the air con on and <sighs> getting a few things tidied up. Yes, and uh, we do, so with the caravan, hi. <laughs> we, um, haven't packed it really to travel in it properly yet because we are stuck at home base at the moment. For those of you that have been following along, you know that we went away a few weeks ago. We got 15 minutes out of home, lost all our lights, indicators, blah, 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 and had to turn around and come home, which is incredibly frustrating when you've got your new van sitting here. We still get around camping, though in the tailgate camper. So first world problems, we're definitely not complaining. But what's going on with the RAM, Aiden, and the lights? <laughs> yes, there's a, an issue in a module that controls the trailer plug and it's not sending power past that module to the trailer plug to send to the caravan. Right. Even though it was working the last time we hooked it up and drove out of here, it stopped 10 <sighs> minutes down the road, 15 minutes down the road. So bloody frustrating. We do all so. the checks, you know, Aiden drove out the driveway. We even checked them again across the road when we got out the driveway. Brakes working, indicators working. Yeah, and then someone radioed us out in the road when we overtook them saying, ah, oh, your indicators and stuff, your <laughs> lights aren't working, your brake lights. We're like, oh shit, turn around, come home. We, you know, that's a risk. You just can't be out driving like that with the big, with the rig on the back. So. Anyhow, welcome to our home on wheels. Um, this is our bush tracker caravan, which we bought in December, was it? We picked it November. up in December. Yeah, November, December. Um, we absolutely love it and we hope we're gonna love it for many, many years. Um, anyway, we will show you around. Hi. <laughs> I'm a bit excited because I like the weather girl. <laughs> Aiden's got me this little button thingy, do doobalacky. Uh, that turns the camera on and off mm. and can take photos. So today's weather, let's talk about that. It's bloody hot. Um, SA's, we're going through a heat wave at the moment, even though it's autumn. And uh, we were meant to go away today, but of course, being in the tailgate camper, no air conditioning, etc., it's gonna be reaching 40 plus all around us. So we're just delaying that for a few days, aren't we, love? Yep. <laughs> um, anyway. We like camping, but Yes. Not when you can't cool down. Yeah, when you can't cool down, it's not much fun, which obviously if you're in the van, you can, but when you're in the tailgate camp with a little fan, it's not so great uh, when the wind's howling and it's 40 plus degrees. So um, as you can see with our van, it's a pretty standard setup. It's, uh, is it 20? 20 foot. 20 foot. 20 foot, but Bush Tracker are excellent at getting the most out of the space. There's very little wasted space in this caravan. Um, and as I said before, we actually haven't been away in it proper yet. We bought it back on our shakedown trip and everything was great with it. Um, so we actually haven't packed it like we're gonna be on the road long-term at the moment because we're in and out of it. Um, for those of you that have just joined us, um, we do like to travel far and wide, but for 2024, at the moment, we are settling into our home base in the Flinders Ranges, getting to know our community and getting to know some people. I'm doing some part, actually not even part-time, casual admin work, Aidan's between work contracts. So we're hoping to get the van out at every opportunity. So we have got lots planned this year. Uh, we're doing the Red Centre. We're doing hopefully a desert crossing, aren't we, Aiden? <laughs> Without the van. <laughs> Without the van. Um, but that's obviously weather dependent at the time that we can do it. We've been booked to do a magnificent property sit in New South Wales, which we're 
you know, hopefully that's all going to happen and that's going to be very interesting in an area that neither of us have spent much time in. So there's actually a lot happening. Um, and whether we get on the road more permanently early next year um, remains to be seen. Uh, we eloped last year as well and Aidan's got Irish family coming out this year and uh, we're throwing a big party for that as well. So it's definitely not going to be a boring 2024. Um, and for those of you that want more information about anything that we show you with the van or are interested in um, the photos that I take, the blogging that I do, we've moved it over to the Buy Me A Coffee site now. And no, you don't have to pay to come and look at the content. You can just come over. So we'll pop the link for that in the description if that interests you. But anyway, this is the van. So fairly standard setup. We've got the door at the front. Um, we did actually talk about getting a build done with the rear door, didn't we love that? We did, but yeah, we, we then we needed, because we like the larger ensuite, which we'll show you in a minute, Yeah. Um, we then needed a 22 foot plus van to get the larger ensuite with the rear door. Yeah, and we just didn't want to go that big because we do plan on taking this baby on every red dirt road that we can get it on. So this is one of the reasons we've gone with a bush tracker. Um, it's a bit of a controversial thing I know, but we've both had vans before, um, all different types of vans between the two of us, ranging from Jayco through to, um, I had a, ta a tail craft at one point. Uh, I had a river caravan, excellent caravan made in Melbourne. Um, you, Aiden had- I had track T vans yeah. for a while then also had a masterpiece optimum off-road van. Mm -hmm. So between us, we've had quite a few vans to know what we wanted. So we went up to Bush Tracker uh, in Queensland. I had to be convinced, I must say, um, about the cost and was it worth it. And we went up, spent some time at the factory, had a walk through, had a look through, and I could absolutely 110% see the quality and the difference. Now. As we said, we've just picked it up and we still have to take it out in the dirt roads and try it out. So we are no bullshit people. If it meets the criteria it's supposed to, you're gonna know about it. If it doesn't, well, you're gonna hear about that too. Not in an awful way, but we'll wait and see. Time time will tell. So we, we have done about 3,000 Ks, would it? Yeah, um, about 3,000 Ks we did to get back to home base. So anyway, we'll sh I'll stop babbling. We'll hmm. show you the layout. Um, so this is the queen size bed, um, fairly standard, we just had a mattress made for it which we're really hopefully going to be happy with. Um, well we should be, it's the same mattress we have in the, the tailgate. tailgate now. Camper, so. yeah. Yep. So with this particular van, um, we've got lights here which are dimming, we've got the light up behind, everything can be dimmed. And the storage, little storage units are actually at the back, if you can see yep. down in here. And that's great where you can put your bits and pieces, in my case, earplugs, <laughs> so I can't hear people snoring. Um, well, I put my CPAP <laughs> machine in this little one and it's even got power in here so that I can run it on the 12 volt. Yeah, so Aiden needs a CPAP machine, so he pops that in there. So it's great having that little storage facility where you can throw things when we're on the road, it doesn't bounce out everywhere. Um, so that's fairly standard with a lot of caravans, I guess. Um, uh, it is, mm. but some of them haven't the cupboard going the whole way back and then yes. an opening into the bottom of the cupboard. That's right, yes. So uh, with both of our cabinets, um, we don't have any hanging space in them. Um, we decided that we liked the shelves because you can actually roll your clothes, stack your clothes um, really neatly into, uh, into the shelves. And, and most of our clothes don't need to hang anyway. And we have hardly any clothes that we ever take. Um, and we've got baskets down in the bottom for jocks and socks because we'll tr I try and when we do go away, which I'll do another video of sometime, um, we try and have it so that the things you're going to use the most are easily accessible. That just seems to be common sense. Um, so we don't really have any hanging space here, but we do have it down in the back. And then 
we've got little chargers on each size of, side of the bed there. Yeah. USB points. USB and USB-C. Yeah. And the light switches. And the light switches. Plus the little courtesy light, which... Courtesy light, I do If you I look behind love. you, you can see the little blue light lights up the floor and there's another one down in the toilet area for night time so that you don't need to turn on all the lights. So that's actually a great thing to have inside your van if you're thinking about building a van. Um, it just gives you that um, little bit of light in the night if you need it. So the other thing which we have, and I've, I've heard people say that um, they laugh at the bush tracker caravans, people getting up to their king bed on the, in the bush tracker caravan because they're actually quite high. Um, and that is true. But they also have these foot lockers, which I think some of the vans are getting now as well. And it's a great spot to store all your shoes or bits and pieces that you don't need to access all the time. Um, and that's what gives you the step up to the bed. So, which um, gives you a higher storage compartment from outside. Yes, that's right. Which we'll do the outside in a separate video. Um, so that's kind of the bed area. Aiden has got, there's a couple of drawers yes. there. Here, love, I'll take that and you. These are shallow drawers. Yes. Uh, I'll show you why shortly. So they're quite shallow. But they do fit quite a bit in them. Yes. Yeah, nah. they do fit a lot. You would ask why is there not drawers on the other side? <laughs> well, there's a reason for that because when we lift the bed, Actually, in behind here is where all our lithium batteries are. Yes. So it's in a sealed compartment to meet the new regulations mm -hmm. and vented outside. So it's not deemed to be part of the habitable area. Not of the to caravan. mention the Sirocco fans. Got two of them up the bed end. People say, are they worth it? 110%, yes, I, I believe personally they're worth yep. it. Um, do you think so, Aiden? Yeah, I wouldn't be without them in any van or we've yes. even got them in the tailgate. Yeah. Yeah, above the bed so it just gives that air movement without too much noise or anything mm, to just yeah and the way you can spin and rotate them as yeah. well around um they're actually i'll do a separate video sometime because these don't need it yet but when they need to be cleaned you can actually just pull them apart and take the blade out i learned that um so they are definitely worth having so up here we've got a skylight yep um with full block out fly mesh yeah we do have a light uh, that's there to open it it's electric it's electric so that's quite handy and everything you can do manually if you have to um i do like the way they've made this center piece through the center because it, it does, gives you a bit of light around it, it does have extra lighting as yeah. well as blue light Yes, and I know sometimes you look at the vans and you go, oh, the lighting's all overkill, blah, blah, blah. You learn the hard way sometimes, the least lighting, the better. So if you can get some soft lighting, yellow lighting, when you right. go camping where there's huge amounts of bugs, you're going to be very happy with that. Um, so, yeah, up in the cupboards, we've got, they've got dimmers and things, which is great for... As I said, when you're camping out where all the bugs are and you just want the bare minimum of light. So as you can see, this van has got matte black cupboards. The baby poo coloured. <laughs> it's not baby poo. It's <laughs> Leather. It looks, caramel brown. It looks baby poo on here. It's actually a lot tanner than what it looks um, there. This table, so the dining suite, the table comes off and folds away. Uh, I'll just move that away from. So obviously when we're on hella bumpy roads, which we will be, um, we can pop that under the bed. Which has it on little which slot. Which has got its own little slot there. The base of it will go away. And then if we just pull up somewhere, we've got the little um, The base has its own there. clip. So all gets clipped into there. So and if you're wondering what this little piece here is, yes, 
that's actually a piece to go over the sink. Ah, yes. So you have extra chopping space. A little bit of extra chopping space, or it can be used if it needs to be for a chopping board. But they do think of everything by even giving it a little spot to sit in here. Yes, they, they are very good at making sure that every base is covered. Um, probably when we're traveling a lot, we'll have the table off. We sit outside as much as possible anyway, and then we've um, got this little area here. So down under now, underneath where yeah. Aiden is, yeah. drawer. as you can see, we travel very heavily. <laughs> <laughs> um, down under where Aiden is, they're quite long drawers. Uh, this one isn't. This is all our user manuals. Yes. And... There you go, people. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Have some light reading. Oh my God, have we even looked at that yet? <laughs> Um, uh, this one's a lot deeper because it goes the whole way in. And this one's a deep one. And that's our That's where we keep our saucepans at the moment. Do you want to show people those, love, who might not have seen them? <laughs> These are lovely T-Fowl saucepans. With Here, I'll move this. Removable handles, so that makes it easy to store. Yeah. And, and they're, they're induction. induction. Yeah, we've got induction ones. I think we got them off Amazon, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. So, so there's three, so three saucepans, two handles, lids for them, and a large couple of frying pans. pans. Yep. Um, there's one still out in the other yeah. kitchen. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, if we're telling you about anything here, uh, I just wanted to say to you that we are not affiliated with anyone, any company. Um, someone messaged us and said, oh, are you selling bush trucker caravans now? <laughs> no. No, we're not. Um, and we wouldn't mind. If we were happy to take a commission. <laughs> we wouldn't mind having to take a commission, Bush Tracker, if you're watching this. Um, but no, we're not affiliated with anyone for any products. If we tell you about something, it's because we've bought it with our own hard cash. We like it or we don't like it. And we'll tell you if we like it and we'll tell you if we don't like it. Um, so all the things that we show you in the van today... Aiden will pop a, um, a link into the description, aren't you? Yeah. Going to do that. Just so that, you know, save you messaging us, you'll be able to find it. <laughs> Old people and technology, <laughs> that's us. Uh, just trying to work some things out. Um, anyway, come into my kitchen, our kitchen. Uh, now, I'm going to show you my favourite thing almost in this caravan. After years of Traveling and where will I put this bin and blah, 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 you know, the works. Well, when I hang this and you come back and there's all ants everywhere. Check out the bin, people. Got the bin, recycling. We use one section for recycling and one section for rubbish. And also got little um, drawer up here, which is a great use of space. So they really, at Bush Tracker, they do really try and help you to make, make the most of all the space that you've got. So that's where the bin lives. Standard drawers, standard cupboards really. Um, the only thing I will say, and obviously we're not fully on the road yet, but we do use baskets for everything in the drawers. Um, I learned the hard way when I first started out at caravanning because, you know, you have to learn by doing it. Don't store your heavy things in overhead lockers. <laughs> I should have remembered from all the flights that I've done over the years. Um, no, so... Um, a can or something fell out fell out of here in the brand new caravan and just you know chipped all the bench top because you open it up and everything flies out but um, these little baskets we've got are probably a little bit shallower than what we might have once we get on the road really you want your basket to be about to here and then you stack your stuff in the in the basket to label it if you like me organization mm. clean you can label it um, so you know it's easy for both parties because, and Aiden's laughing at me right now, but if one of you knows where everything is, that's great. But it's better if two of you know <laughs> where everything is because it gets tiresome after a while. You know, like, where is that? I've got to move that to get to that, to get to that. It can drive you batshit crazy. <laughs> so um, I am a bit of a labeler and like to know where everything is. Um, so up in here, you know, we will have different bits of pieces when we get going. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I've got a competition, uh, sorry, a giveaway, I guess we'd say it is for the paper pot at the moment. It's a bit of a sister to the Dunny Buddy. Um, it's a great paper towel in there. So jump onto our um, 
travel blogging site at BMAC if you want to be in the run to win one of those. We've got one to win at the moment. So they sent us one to give away. So um, For next, the 23rd, is it? Uh, about the 22nd. We've got yeah. up until the 22nd of March if you want to jump over and have a look. Um, we met these guys, the Dunny Buddy crew, down at a camping show in Adelaide. Um, we ended up buying two lots of these yep. and two lots of Dunny Bunnies um, because we just love the product. Australian, keeping jobs in Australia, made in Australia, all of that. But we have our paper towel in here so that we can take it outside at the barbecues or whatever. But we don't even have a barbecue in, in this pan, <laughs> but that's another, probably another we whole We do have video. an outside <laughs> kitchen that I have to cook in all the time. We do have an outside kitchen, but we'll cover that one when we get to doing the outside. Um, so fairly standard, I guess, with the kitchen. Um, the TV gets strapped in when we're traveling. Which we, is great because you don't have to take it off and put it on the bed and yep. move it. And yep, correct. So every other van I've had, you've got to take that off, put it on the bed, particularly if we're going on the corrugations or the red dirt, is that going to be okay? Um, so with this one, it just gets strapped in, strapped in, not eyes. And we'll see, we'll see what happens when we, actually it's pretty firm. Well, they've been um, making them like that for 20 years. So. Yeah, so if they haven't figured it out by now, but if anyone's going to test it, it will be up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we that have... It means you don't have to reconnect it every time you put it back up. Oh, so that's true. Um, and so then we've got an induction... Sorry, everyone, it's a little bit dusty at the dirty at the moment. Um, we've got an induction cooktop, which we have used a couple of times, but we've also got outside. So... We tend to cook outside when we can. And we picked up these couple of things which might interest you. Um, when we first got the van and we were traveling back, this one, people are always asking about dish, rash, dish racks and things. This one is great for traveling. As you can see, I didn't prepare for you today mm. at all. Like everything needs a good clean up at the moment before we go. Um, because we haven't got a draining board, we decided on this one. And it does fold down flat to go in the sink. And this one, Aiden, actually happened to fly, which I'm so in love with. It just fits perfectly on the um, induction cooker. Non-slip. Non-slip, obviously, when it's not hot is when you're using it. But it gives you extra chopping space without damaging the cooktop. It's a meat board on one side, which the Irish man in the <laughs> caravan was very excited about. <laughs> And I was excited about this side because it's got this little lip here um, where I can chop like watermelon or things that are going to get juicy and uh, it doesn't go everywhere. So I think we actually need one of those for the tailgate camper probably hmm. as well now. Um, so we'll pop links for those in the description for you. They're Joseph and Joseph, which you can get at... Um, Woolies, I think, and Woolies and Big W, I think, and yeah. So well, we've got links to them on Amazon. Yeah, so we'll pop the in. links on. You can have a look. But um, I have had quite a few people because we showed them previously when we picked up, and they've bought them and, and for the house as well, and love them. So that's great. Um, then we've got normal storage under here. Um, as you can see, baskets once again. It's all about the baskets and. It's well, nearly got... a basket case. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be the first one in my life to say that, <laughs> love. Um, and then we've got our oven, which is an oven, microwave and steamer. So, yes, interesting. I think we've used the microwave once. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used the microwave once. So the downside, obviously, if you're going to microwave, you have to take everything out so you can't obviously have the steel racks like you just pull everything out um, but we're not microwaving people so I didn't want space taken up with a microwave when you end up stuffing it with something as a travel unit for the for the amount of times that we use it so we did use it once I think on the mm. trip back and I don't think we even use the oven that much in our previous vans yeah but I am I do I did want an oven for when we're on the road longer term because I am celiac um, I do I will bake and do things like that to a particular when we're out rurally where I can't get the foods that I that I can eat so we did want an oven um, as for the steamer 
I don't know. Are <laughs> we going to steam anything in there? But we'll keep you posted, let you know how it goes. Um, but it definitely did work well when we, when we used it. Um, I got this sent from Robin at iNot. I'll pop the link on for you as well. She sent us a gift for our new caravan, which was so lovely of her. She sent me quite a few things and um, I love, love, love these little towel rings because it just we can have a hand towel on there and a tea towel. So I've definitely got to get on to putting a hand towel there as well. Um, you've got some cupboards. We've got a diesel heater outlet here, which will can't wait until winter when we can use that. And then in here, we have got a sliding tray with power in the back. So um, we're not quite sure yet. <laughs> you know, the brochure shows everyone with their coffee machines in there and all of that. We tended to use it on our trip back with um, our tea and our coffee and pulled that out, biscuits and all those things we wanted to access quickly. I wouldn't boil a kettle there because, you know, you don't want your steam going off into the cupboard and also I just wouldn't be happy having boiling water on that sliding tray. So we actually got this, if you're interested, tiny little hmm. kettle. <laughs> um, went looking for this tiny little kettle because Aidan doesn't drink tea and coffee so I didn't want to boil a lot of water and we managed to get this, what is it, Murphy Richards. And we managed to find one that fitted underneath the television. So when we have got it out on the bench, we can still pull the TV out and use the TV. Obviously when I'm boiling it, I pull it away from the TV, you know, when you've got your steam going everywhere. But once again, one of those things that can really piss you off if you are having to move the kettle, to turn the TV, to do all of that. So it's the, all these- the standard kettle was it's 1.5 or 1.7 litres was just too high. Yeah, it was so, um, you know, it's just one of those, it's all the little things that when you're on the road, if you can minimise them, just makes it more harmonious. <laughs> harmonious is the word. <laughs> and then in here, we've got a pantry of sorts. Um, and once again, baskets. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Oh, look, Aiden's mm. favourites in here whole baby potatoes lord knows we wouldn't go anywhere without potatoes <laughs> would we go? hey you um, can't and it's sacrilege yeah sacrilege and it is a matte black um so yes it does show up fingerprints um i actually use co cleaner um for the whole van and that's great at getting getting the fingerprints off but look if we're traveling and we're having a good time the last thing I'm worrying about is fingerprints on the caravan, um, cupboard doors and, you know, you just have your week or whatever and then do your clean through. I mean, we don't live like grots, mm. but let's keep it into, in perspective, right? Some fingerprints on the cupboard, but we just loved the matte black over the shiny surfaces. Um, and we actually do really like, they've put a lot of thought into apparently finding these new clasps. Metal latches. Metal latches. They are so solid. So you push the button and you pull it and it comes up. So how that's been an ever going, ongoing um, issue for us, well, for both of us with caravans and for many caravanners. So it'll be interesting once we get on the road to see how they hold up. Um, I would say the negative, the negative on those is here, for instance, if you've got it out, you know, if you've got that, obviously you have to press the button every time. And if you leave it out, it's actually you can really, I think I did do it on the way back from our trip. You can really catch yourself on them. So, haha, ha, sorry about the pun. Mm. Um, but it is, you know, like everything, isn't it? Negatives and positives. So that would be the only negative we've found so far. Really strong. Then if you come down here, we've got the fridge. Actually, couldn't tell you how many litres it is. Uh, it's quite... 220, I 220, think, 220, I think um, which is great. Um, and, you know, it's just like having a normal fridge, so there's plenty of room for us. Once again, when we're travelling on the road, I will put baskets in there um, to hold... I like those little baskets with the handles or just the basket that will fit in there. You can put this down and you can particularly for your sauces and all those sorts of things lift the basket out take it outside to where you're eating so 
great fridge, great freezer. So really happy with that. And then we've got the bathroom. Um, what would you like to know about the bathroom? <laughs> Bathroom's a bathroom. Um, this here probably looks like wasted space. I think it's so that Aiden can sit on the toilet and enjoy his throne. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than sitting on the toilet with no shoulder room. <laughs> it's very comfortable, um, but this is actually an outside locker. So if we were building the van, mm, not sure about that. Would it be better use having a door on here? I don't know, but we don't carry much with us, so we're not bothered by it. They um, sell it as an outside sealed fully sealed generator storage unit yes yes so you can obviously if you want to carry a generator which we don't do or we haven't up until now but we may um depending on where we're going and what we're doing um and how we go with all the solar and batteries <laughs> yeah exactly because we're still trying to work out all the solar and batteries and we'll get to that but you know if we take a generator we'll be make sure that we sit up right next to you and put it right next to your bedroom hmm. window <laughs> <laughs> no, God, it would have to be a dire situation for us to use a generator. Um, would have been handy one night coming back on, from the pickup where it was 40 degrees. Yes, And no, correct. not a puff of wind. Could have done with it that night. But, you know, the truth is we haven't been able to use the caravan enough at the moment to know how we're going to go with the power and the solar. Um, so anyway, that's an outside store cabinet. Um, we have got the Tetford... Uh, chemical toilet which is what we've both had in our previous vans we may consider swapping it at some stage um, to a organic composting composting loo can't quite get my head around <laughs> that right now um, too much information but I am a don't poo in the caravan <laughs> type of girl because it just does my head in um, but you know there if you need it so we'll see we've done all the research on the compost toilets we talked about it till we were black and blue and then we went end up buying this particular van and the, the chemical one was already in there so it might be something that we could possibly change so, yes as it was a show van we didn't have any option yes that's true um so yes this was a demo van but we'll talk to you about that at the end um and then this is the um washing machine my previous van had a top loading washing machine. I much prefer this one. I have done a little short or something on that, I think. Um, it's about 2.2 2 kilos. It uh, looks, two and a half. Is it two and a half? It looks For some reason, it's two and a half in Australia, but it's three overseas. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's the same machine. Yeah, <laughs> same machine. But it looks, it, it looks a bit weird. Uh, I mean, I'm the first to admit that, but hey, it's functional. Um, it's super quiet. It's and we can actually fit quite a large amount in there. So I guess um, we can use it off grid as well. I can't remember now, I think about it was about 20 litres of, litres of water per cycle. Um, so we actually can get a good couple of few days worth of clothes in there, but I haven't tried sheets and towels yet. So I'll keep you posted on that and how it goes. I'm pretty sure you'd get two towels in there um, and maybe you have to wash your sheets if you're desperate you know one at a time but we'll see how that goes um, but super quiet and it doesn't shake the van and it doesn't shake the van I thought it would um, but it doesn't then we've got um, I'll sit here sit <laughs> on the loo while I talk to you um, then we've got some drawers as per usual you know baskets and things um, I did really like this sink that's above once again, you wouldn't be putting anything in this overhead cabinet that's heavy for it to drop out on the sink. Um, in fact, we've put some little baskets in there because it ha actually has got quite a bit of storage. We haven't used it yet because I'm actually not happy to put anything in there until we're going to put some little elastic across there, aren't we? Yeah. Like some sort of little barrier across or some doweling or something um, so that when you're opening it, um, everything's not dropping out but to be honest the type of travelers that we are nothing's in there <laughs> like we can fit everything in a drawer so like you know maybe I'll put some cotton wool balls in <laughs> there or something like that 
Um, honestly, we a lot of this is wasted on us. Having both had vans, we just have ample drawers empty when we travel and even if we we're going long term, we're just so used to traveling with not much stuff that I don't think that will ever change, um, which is good because it makes finding things really easy. Um, but anyway, that's the bathroom. We've got these little, I think I love the Joseph mm. Joseph stuff. We picked these up just um, because they're quite robust. You can take the bottom off, shove your toothbrushes, the electric toothbrushes fit in there, and then you can just shove them into a drawer. So they're really good. Now, do you want to come in? Mm. No? Do you want to show something mm. off? Oh, okay. I'll sit down here and when I say you can keep talking. When I say so. Well, we have a heated towel rail. <laughs> Not yeah. that we've ever used Not, it. <laughs> would we ever need that? Christ, geez, it's a bit of overkill. Um, the shower looks quite small, but it's cut on an angle to give us enough room to be able to dry when we come out. But Aiden's uh, just over six foot and is built like a brick hmm. shit house. So he can fit in there quite easily, you know, wash, do everything he needs to do, and you don't feel like you're bumping no. everything, do you? Got, and you got things. the shelf. Yeah, because and the shelf is in there, um, which is great just to put your stuff in. These cabinets, that's a cabinet, which you can actually store things in. I don't love that, personally. Um, getting it open and closed is not the easiest thing in the world. It's fully waterproof, though. Yeah, it's full, yeah it is fully waterproof, but... but you need it in case there's a problem with the shower to get behind to get to the taps. Yes, that's right. So, and then down in here, so we've got standard um, exhaust up there, little window, which is quite nice when I was in the shower. And we do have a diesel heater outlet in here. And I thought, wow, that's overkill. That's total overkill, like what the hell? But I won't be saying that in winter, but why is the diesel heater outlet there? Because you can use it as a drying room. That's right. And that's a great idea. So when you're camping somewhere and everything gets wet, you can hang your stuff in here, shut the door, put, or, you know, have the fan on, um, the heater, and it's going to dry everything. So that's like a bit of a drying room, I guess. Um, ladies, if you're like me, I'm old school and I still use a face washer. I picked up these... Um, face washers in Foodland, which are super quick dry, abrasive on one side, really smooth on the other, because I hate getting into my shower and it stinks like a stinky face washer. Yes, so you're learning all about us today, aren't you? So, yes, that is a great little find as well there. Oh, and here's the king on his And throne. don't forget, it's, <laughs> they do another thing that's quite good, is they mm. have two outlets in the oh, shower, yes. so that if you're not dead level it'll still drain generally hey what did someone say we're not dead level huh what? <laughs> <laughs> women don't do not dead <laughs> level love don't you know <laughs> that's an ongoing bone of contention between my husband and i is anyone else like that <laughs> but yes it's great to to um outlets there and then out here, you show us what you've oh, got. You actually need to be out here because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise it will. Yeah, so skilled at doing this, aren't we? It's not much room. This is our hanging okay, space. Okay, so that's our hanging space there, um, which is ample once again. And I'm sure when we're traveling in winter and taking a lot more clothes, it will come in handy. And we do have have found these from I'll, I'll just again, sit on again. <laughs> I found uh, them online on Amazon they're stay put hangers yeah that actually clip onto the rail yeah we're well, still give those a go they don't actually tend to, you actually have to pull them a reasonable amount yeah to get them to come off yeah uh because yeah we came back when we had our stuff hung in there and everything was you know all off the hangers it was like why don't bother putting it on the hangers and then, uh, there's another diesel uh, heater outlet uh, there. no that's the inlet hey that's the inlet to suck the air in oh is it and then oh, it, oh yes for in the shower one so then we got yes yep three more drawers here mm -hmm. again nice and deep and yeah 
So generally when we go away, we've pretty much got everything in that one top drawer where Aiden is, which is quite a deep drawer. And then these other drawers, we have one each for our bathroom stuff. Actually, can you just, was there a peg basket in there, love? I just want to show one of my favourite pegs. So we use this double bucket, this bucket, collapsible bucket, is also our washing basket. <coughs> Doesn't look very big, but you know, how much washing are you doing in that tiny machine at any one time? Um, so everything has multi-purpose use, but these Hex pegs are my absolute favourites. Um, I've had the orange ones for years, and they've got the two little clips. So you've got that little clip there, where you can actually, so you can be hanging something, but you can also clip like little singlets or undies or whatever on there as well. And um, particularly if you're trying to save room inside the caravan, they're my absolute favorites. And we've got a Dometic um, air conditioner. So far it's worked really well. It's actually fairly quiet, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, pretty quiet. And as we said, while our trip back, we hit about 40 something, 40 plus degrees. That was not fun. Um, we had the worst night, one of the worst nights I've ever had in a caravan. And because we're novices with the solar and all of that, we didn't leave it running. We had it on for about mm. three hours. Yeah. Um, it... And in hindsight, we could have left it running, but we didn't, but it does work beautifully. Yeah, so, so we'll run off the, in, off the, just off the batteries. Mm -hmm. And when it's running, if you're in full sun, mm -hmm. it actually won't, drop the batteries by much yeah yeah which is good but obviously then at night time when you ha don't have sun yeah. it will chew through it a little bit but yeah. we have been reading up and there is different settings we can use to reduce how much power it uses at night we've been reading up or you've been reading well up? i've been reading up <laughs> you are the instruction I do like manual my, I man do, i do like to be cool at night <laughs> yes and you don't mind reading an instruction <laughs> manual me Mm, can you please learn how yeah. to work it and then show me because I learn better by someone showing me and they don't have to show me once and usually it's in my brain but mm, show me an instruction manual, not my thing. Mm. Anyway, what have All we got right. up here? So up, up here we've got our control panel. So all our fuses, radio, readout. This is our diesel heater controls. Mm -hmm. This is our hot water yes. for 12 volt. Yes, so better talk about we that. probably should talk about that because it's a gasless van we mm -hmm. have electric hot water so it'll run off 12 volt or 240. Mm -hmm. now from memory the tank is about 12 liters and it takes about an hour and a half they say to heat up off 12 volt or about 20 minutes off 240 volt but obviously if you're driving, you can turn it on while you're driving and it'll just heat. There's mm -hmm. no problem. We've had it on when we were, from the time we picked up the van till we stopped here, we had it on 12 volt the whole way. And mm -hmm. um, we never had it ran out of hot water or anything. Uh, mm -hmm. It is set quite high. So you do end up using more cold water than hot water yeah. in a shower. And we can adjust the temperature really easily. With it, can't we? Yeah, it's in mm. the, underneath the sink in the bathroom. Yes. So, but we've got it on super hot, which we do have to be careful. But it's. Sorry about that. I even thought he was going to get some quiet. I muted mm. my microphone. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, yeah we. Um, the hot water is set quite high because then you just add the minimum. It comes on pretty hot. You just add the minimum. Um, or the cold obviously and it seems to be rather than running water through and you're waiting for it to heat up mm. so that's that's worked fine on the trip back so anyway what else you got for all right us? we've got our cymarine display panel mm -hmm. where you've got all our solar going in which is nothing at the moment because we're in the shade mm -hmm. we're on power so that's all right um then we've got our water tanks how many water tanks? Uh, we've got four water tanks, one drinking and three normal usage mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. And then we've got a grey water tank as well. Mm -hmm. So I think there's 200, uh, four, 360 litres of water mm -hmm. when they're all full. 
Yeah. Plus then 90 in the grey water tank as well. Yeah. And of course, many of you would know if you're travelling throughout Australia now, having a grey water tank is almost a necessity yeah. in a lot of, particularly if you want to be off grid like us, staying in national parks and all those sorts of things. Um, you definitely need your grey water tank. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got our level to tell us where we're at. Oh, look, hang on a minute. Go back, Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a level to tell us how level yes. we are? Wow. So it tells us our pitch. We are slightly high at the front at the moment, but yeah. we're pretty much level. And across. actually, we did love that when we were driving back, didn't we? Yeah. It made um, things a lot easier, and there weren't too many arguments when I could just say, <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's kind of like the brains there. And that's... We missed out on the Fusion Stereo pretty oh. hard, love. We haven't even <laughs> used that. There's a great stereo system in here because it was a show bag, <laughs> so we can get some doof doof happening. <laughs> you should see the bass that's in here, it's <laughs> out of control, but you know, we're not party people, so unlikely that's going to be used at the campsite. And then we've got our van connect from Cowfish mm -hmm. for Wi-Fi and internet and that. We yep. are looking at, uh, looking at getting a connection to the Starlink into that so we can use that router instead of the Starlink one when yes. we're set up. Yeah, and we do have Starlink, but we rarely use it. We have it in case we need it. Aidan was actually working uh, online, so therefore, uh -huh. um, you know, we, he, we needed it, but when we go away, even at the moment, we don't take it with us, do we? Not unless we just... we're going longer. If yeah. it's only a few days, we don't. Yeah. If we're going longer, yeah, we probably will just because you never know when you need it. That's right. And if we're going somewhere remote and patchy, mm. um, we'll definitely take it with us and have it there available. But we're not generally, gen we are not generally the people that you're going to see whacking up their Starlink and then sitting in the caravan <laughs> for the rest of the evening. Um, if it's, you know, we all do that, of course, but we'd much prefer to be out and sitting outside yeah. and talking to people and doing all of that, but not all the time. And if you're on the road full time, well, yeah, God, you need your quiet <laughs> space and your quiet time. But generally we don't take it with us unless we need to, but we'll see what happens with that when we're all right. on the road. Yeah. Are you ready for the big electricals? So uh, all of that's under the bed. Yes. Let's have a now look Now if we seat. take this rest table rest area out mm -hmm. we can see it easily well you might be able to let's have a little look see here okay so we got our big 3000 watt inverter mm -hmm. plus we got a i think it's a 60 uh 40 no oh, better check better check before you go telling everyone about it uh, 40 amp DC to DC charger mm -hmm. plus then we got two solar controllers yep because of the amount of solar on the roof mm -hmm. you need two of them then we've got this absolute massive wiring system <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what I learned about the wiring system Hmm, everything went up shit creek huh. when we were driving home. And the one thing because I Because somebody turned the kettle on while the <laughs> air conditioning was on. <laughs> and one thing I remembered from the eight six hour handover hmm. was the yellow button there. Mm, yep. Reset the yellow button hmm. and hopefully everything amps back up yep. into life. And we were fine hmm. if that worked. So don't go asking me hmm. about the ins and outs of it. <laughs> um, but how much solar have we got, Aiden? Uh, we have 1,440 watts of solar panels on the roof. Yep. And we have 800 amp hours of lithium batteries in here. Yes. Um, okay. Then down there, we've got our... Far down there, you'll see the yep. tank fillers. So, yes. And beside it is, tank the, fillers. is the two pumps, one mm -hmm. for the, gray, the normal water and one for drinking water with the water filter for the drinking. Mm-hmm. And you can control them down there for filling. And yes. then if we switch around behind yeah. you, just by the door, mm -hmm. we have where we decide which one we're actually using to take out. Yeah. And in there, there's also switches for the lights outside yeah. and the 
roll out electric awning and electric steps. Yes. Which are quite nice. And you'll notice with this, um, I think it's a marine grade door that we have, isn't it? Uh, In the front. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's got fly screen and everything built in. It's but got it... fly screen built in, but you'll notice there's no vents. And the reason that there's no vents is we don't have to have vents in there because we are a gasless van. So yes, we chose to go gasless because of the amount of solar that we've got. Mm. We didn't want to have to carry gas, worry about getting gas. So therefore we don't have to have those vents, which also for us is a huge plus because we're on so many dirt roads. Mm. So that was one of the reasons, right? Yep. Um, but we do, you know, obviously when we're sleeping in here, it'd be unusual for us not to have a window crack door open or one of the um, one of the vents up yeah. there just to have some fresh air in at night time. But definitely for on the road, it's great not having those vents. So there you have oh, it, Yes, folks. your mats, love. Yes, What's we... the go with those? Uh, so these are from, everyone's heard of muck mats. Well, these are grub mats. Mm. They're upside down, I can't know if it is grub mats. Yeah. Uh, so we got that. We got one for inside two for the step because mm -hmm. there's two steps and then a larger one for outside yeah uh why did we go grub mats over muck mats mm -hmm. mainly because muck mats their step mats were too big ah yes yeah and grub mats will custom make them to the size that you need that's right so aiden came out and did a measure up and particularly for there at the front um and measure up the it's, steps. It's the, the actual steps, they were too long for yeah, that. Yeah, because Aiden actually had some muck mats and we <laughs> tried those um, and they we couldn't then fold all the steps and everything mm. up. So we've gone with these. So we'll pop the link in as well um, in case any of you have that problem. And I forgot to show you um, the roller blinds that we have on the windows are uh, fairly standard. I didn't want the ones that have the little creases because I've had that before and that's a, they're a nightmare to clean if you get bugs and all those sorts of things. Um, but these ones are the smooth ones that go up and down and you can actually unclip this piece at the base so that if you do need to clean, you can actually get a cloth in there and clean them, which is great and actually it's a long story everything's a long story mm. on our way back we stopped in the most magnificent spot and they gave us this posse we're going to put you guys down there with your new van by yourself on the lake mm. basically um absolute magic and it actually it was on my old blog but it turned to hell we forgot we because you know everyone does these things but we forgot that we left caravans on in the light inside the van. Sorry, start again. We left the lights on in the caravan and some people we'd met came down and had a drink by the fire and we're like showing them the van. Not, and honestly, swarms <laughs> of thousands of bugs. And These this lovely white walls were black with bugs. <laughs> And this van was brand new. We'd had it like three days yeah. or something, three or four days. Anyway, we said goodbye to the people. We'd had our dinner and everything. And we came in and these walls were teeming <laughs> with the tiniest little black bugs. And there was green aphid type ones as well. And honestly, we just didn't know what to do. It was insane. And old Attila the Hun here <laughs> gets a gets a towel and starts like sweeping the whole van with a towel and there's blood and guts going everywhere. I was like, stop, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> what the hell are we gonna do? So in the end, we just turned all the lights out. Well, we turned out all the inside ones and yeah. turned on the ones outside. Turned on the ones outside to try and get the little weapons out there. And um, they didn't want to go. So in the end, like I just lost it. I was like, I just actually can't deal with this. I'm going to bed. Aiden's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to bed and I've got the sheet up. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want them in my ears. I'm all right, I wear your earplugs. So we just decided to go to bed, <laughs> didn't we? And when we woke up in the morning, they were still there, but we were able to open up all the windows, get them, let them all fly out. And we did actually spend probably a good hour and a half <laughs> An hour and a half to two hours cleaning the inside of the caravan. Mm. Like everything, the walls, the blinds, like it was just disgusting. 
amazing campsite though, but <laughs> lesson was for us. What the hell are you doing, guys? Turn your lights off. Like, what are you thinking? You're campers. For season campers, we're not, we forget some things <laughs> every now and then. campers, but we've forgotten we hadn't been in a van for quite a while. So, you know what? It, got, it turns into a great story. And the funny thing was, there wasn't any bugs outside. No. There so was, we didn't even think about it. No, we didn't have one bug on us. They were all inside the caravan. Hmm. Anyway, that's a little story for so anyway, everyone, that is the inside of our new caravan, and I feel like we've actually bored you shitless. So, we if we have, sorry. <laughs> if we have, sorry, just fast forward, but we're trying to answer all the questions which we have been sent through the blog um, quite some time ago, and we've decided that we'll do the outside of the van. Um, we're hoping to get away um, in it soon, but we will do that when it's a little bit cooler because it is like stifling out there today. And when and we can get out and get around it. Yeah, because we need to get it out of the out of the shed to um, to show it to you properly. But with the bush tracker, we ended up, um, we actually had decided we wanted a bush tracker and we headed up, had a look at the factory and part of buying a bush tracker is that you go up and meet the design team and you can basically have the layout, can't you really, within some certain parameters of what you want. Um, so, you know, you see people that have them with recliner chairs and different setups inside and it's really, really like building a house. And we were fine with that. We'd actually booked our slot. We were going to go up and do that. And then um, when we got up there, Josh, the guy said to us, so oh, do you guys want to have a look at the show model that we've got? Because that's actually coming up for sale. So we thought- Well, well he didn't tell us that until after we'd looked at it yeah. and went, yeah, that's pretty much what we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they still had a few shows and things to go. And um, we said, well, actually that's 95% of what we were going to build because what we had decided was that we didn't want to build something that was so obscure that if we decided we didn't like it or we didn't want it in coming mm. years, and I'm talking in the next couple of years, well, you don't want to build something so obscure that nobody else likes it. Um, and, you know, we're, we were building this van based on reputation alone, and for us, we might get it, and it might not be what we expected. It might not be what we wanted. Um, so we hummed and hard. We went away and we thought about it and decided that yes this was a fairly standard layout and it was 95 percent of what we were going to do anyway so we thought we would actually take the pressure off ourselves <coughs> by this van we didn't have to go through the build process we could get it a lot mm. quicker ironically. Well, yeah but then we put the pressure on us because <laughs> we were getting it in two months time yeah. instead of 12 months yes yeah, so that put the pressure on a little bit it was like wow we're gonna have to come back and get it where you know we've We've got to get it home. We have to do all those things. Um, and, you know, you do wonder if you've made the right decision. So the other thing was we thought we would, as far as the bush tracker name goes and the actual bush tracker, even though Aiden's got friends who have them, we've been in theirs. Um, they have a great reputation. Until you own it yourself, you really don't know. So we thought, oh, well, we'll get this demo model, the show model, um, put it through its paces, have it, you know, and in a couple of years or 12 months or whatever, if we decide we really hate this something in it and we want it changed or we don't like the layout because we did seriously consider having the rear door yep. entry, um, it really depends how much we're going to be on the road and things. So we thought, well, we'll get this. Worst that can happen is we end up selling, you know, getting one built and selling this one so and they do hold their value really well um, so that's kind of how we came yep. to be running with the bush tracker didn't we um, there's no denying they cost a lot of money um, but that comes down to personal choice and obviously your finances and all those things um, but both of us having had vans before decided that we wanted to go that way and both of us have had you know beautiful homes in near the city centres and the hills and all of that. And now we have a home base in a rural town and we have a home on wheels as well. Um, so, you know, yes, definitely there's financial implications when you buy any van, but for us, we're hoping it's the right decision, aren't we? 
Well, I haven't any regrets yet. Yeah, yeah. And used it for what, two and a half weeks coming back? Yeah, yeah. Tours beautifully. It tows beautifully on the ramp. And yeah, we don't think there's anything really we'd change so far. No, one of the questions we had was would we change anything? Um, it's a bit too early to tell, I think, at this point in time. I don't. There's nothing really that springs to mind. The only thing is with one of the foot lockers down um, near my bed there, it could have been extended out to this cafe table here, um, would have given it a little bit of extra space and I have to step down in the night anyhow. So it would have made more sense to me to step down in the bigger area. So I would probably change that. We'd probably add that. Yeah, we'd probably change I think the that. reason they didn't have it mm. was because in the earlier models, mm. You had a washing machine or drawers there. That's right. So now that the battery bank is there and it's not accessible, then mm. it kind of makes more sense to add that extra foot locker. Yes, yeah, yeah. And um, a lot of people do still have their washing machine or whatever under there, and that's the thing is you can build them how you want them. But at this point in time, we'll be really happy and we'll be even happier when we can get <laughs> it back out on the road. <laughs> um, was there another question you said? Uh, around cooking. Oh, right. And the hot water. Yes. Yep. So, so we've covered the, the hot water is electric. Um, and so we haven't far, run out of it. Haven't run out of it. Um, and I even washed my hair in there, ladies. I mean, oh God, I need a damn haircut at the moment, but washed my hair in there. I didn't even do the turn the tap on, turn the tap off because we had plenty of water and I thought I'll just test it and see how it goes. Didn't run out of any hot water, um, which was great. And as for the cooking, we've got the induction cooking. Um, that we've got the induction stove here and we also have a slide out kitchen which we'll show you when we do the outside and that's got induction cooking there as well um, now we did get quite a lot of questions from our from the blog saying well you know you're going to run out of power um, how are you going to cope you know we're we're outdoor campy type people so in the car sorry in the ram we've got a jet boil um we do have a little butane, butane. stove um it actually does have a gas stove if if we ever needed to use it um but I and we prefer to cook over a campfire that's right and if if we are able to have a campfire um we generally have a campfire and cook on there and that won't change really just because we're in the caravan so um yeah, we don't get too caught up in that stuff. It's like if we run out of, you know, if we run out of power and we've got no lights for the night, we have to open up the windows, we've got no air conditioning and we, um, you know, have to cook on a butane stove or whatever. Is the world going to cave in? I don't think so. Like, it's just about keeping it in perspective. I never have bought a caravan or expect to have a caravan where I'm taking everything out of my house and it's literally traveling on the road like your house but, and it's different for everyone i'm just saying this is how it is mm. for us we just don't get caught up in in that stuff it's like yeah it's bloody hot shit it's run out of solar we've got no air conditioning well whatever we need to deal with that um and that's just the way we roll with it but, all, isn't it yeah but <laughs> don't get too worried about it the induction it. cooktops are so easy to clean oh they're compared great. to the gas you don't have to pull things apart you just wipe it over yeah yeah and you know obviously we we had to have induction um, saucepans but we've got them for the house as well so you know there's so many things to consider when you're getting a caravan um, and what you want out of it when you're on the road and and as I said it's different for everyone so just do what suits you um, and you know the vans are these days it's more and more going uh with the solar isn't it really yeah, more, there's more and gasless vans zone do some i think titanium and lotus are doing them now as yeah, well yeah but and again it's down to your personal preference that's right and personally i'd prefer not to carry gas if i didn't have to yeah and I, we, couldn't, I couldn't figure out why i needed to carry gas to heat water and diesel to heat the ha heat the caravan. Which we could have had a gas heater though. We could have. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, well, one or the other. And I've got mm. diesel in the the ram, so mm. it's easy to have diesel mm. for heating. Yeah, and we, that was one thing we didn't want to renege on was having the heating in the van. Um, 
so uh, Aiden's old van and had gas. It uh, had gas heating and gas yeah. instant hot water. Yes, and I'd had diesel in my old van and diesel heating, and anyway, this had diesel already in it. So we were like, okay, we're having diesel. <laughs> it actually helped us answer that gas gasless question. So, um, you know, it's all going to be trial and error. And uh, hopefully you guys will come along for the ride. It won't always be as boring as this, <laughs> but you know, we, we've had a lot of questions which we just have actually haven't had time to answer. So um, I'm sure you would have been fast forwarding for <laughs> the bits that interest you. And uh, we will bring you the outside sometime soon. Yep. Um, go over the RAM as well. Um, Aiden's gonna go over the RAM, the weights, <laughs> um, and uh, a good going over of the outside. So yep. for now, Happy camping and happy caravanning, everyone. <laughs> and hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, hope you enjoyed it, or bits of it, whatever. Whatever you can get out of it, and if, if it's something new, that's good. If you've got more questions, just put them in the comments and we'll try and answer them. Yeah, yep. And like and subscribe when you can see more of our stuff yes. as we do it. More of our stuff that's not as boring as this. I feel like this is so boring. <laughs> but we see other people's videos and we know that people are well, interested are in, well interested in you know you might just pick up one thing that you think i can use that in my van or i'm building a van oh yeah that's a good idea so if there's anything that we haven't covered or you want us to come out and go back through just drop us a comment it's no problem at all we've yeah. got plenty of time while we're at home at the moment waiting for it to cool down <laughs> <laughs> okay bye well, everyone I Yeah.